Welcome back, folks. Today I got a 2012 Sonic LT with a 1.8 Echo Tech that needs an alternator. So we're going to put it on in for the guy. Uh, it is located down here on the rear of the engine, right down there. I was going to pull this air cleaner out of the way for the sake of videoing it, but I don't think I'll have to. So, what I'm going to do is get this thing jacked up and get the wheel off. Get it up on the stand. And our first plan is to disconnect the battery. Which is over here on the driver's side. And you're going to need a 10 millimeter for your battery terminal. Use a wrench or socket, whatever, whatever floats your boat. So let me get this thing in the air. Folks, I got the wheel off and I am in the passenger wheel well here. I want to show you what you're going to have to do to get this cover out of here. We've got push clip here, push clip here, and you're going to have to get underneath, bring down this pan, this cover. We've got a 13 back there in the back on this side and another 13 way back in the rear. We've got, let's go, sorry. Uh, T20 right here and then there's another 13 right here now that's just drop that down and we still have to get this section out which I had to take another T20 out here this little damn in fact I may just pull this out the way completely right here try a better view and we got it looks like another two T20s here so i'm hoping that that is it to get this thing out of here because it doesn't look like there's anything else unless i have to pull this whole wheel well out but i'm going to figure this out and i'll be back shortly well here we are back 20 minutes later after wrestling around with all these damn shields this is ridiculous how this is set up all three of these shields over here are all interconnected and most of the clips to pull this out are pretty self-evident but there is one that is way back here behind this assembly here that you're gonna have to get out of here it's a pop clip a push clip no fun so be prepared for a battle to get these shields out of your way just to get to the alternator so now that I'm down here here's a better view of it right there and my next goal here is going to be to get this belt off of here. So, I'm going to go and grab some tools and I'll be back shortly. All right, here we are back up underneath here. And what I've done is I've got the belt loose. So, what you're going to have to do, this is your belt tensioner here. What I used was a 19 millimeter 12 point three ace socket with a one inch adapter and oh, excuse me one inch extension and my ratchet and just simply put it on here and crank down on it. Now that's got a lot of tension on it so you're going to have to really put some some effort into pulling that thing down. But now my belt is off and it looks like my alternator has got some E sockets. So it looks like this is going to be where is it? E14. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm going to crack this bolt loose here, crack this one loose here. I can't tell. There's another one up there. But let's look at the new alternator and see what it looks like. So here's our new one. And it looks like the bolts sit up in here like this. So we got two bolts that go completely through the alternator. And it looks like they're threaded on the back, so there won't be any nuts that you'll have to worry about. And it looks like we also have our electrical connector here and it's like a 13 on that one so my next move is to crack these bolts loose and i'll come back once i've gotten to that point all right folks 
things got a little more intense than I anticipated here trying to get this alternator out. So, back up top, what I ended up having to do was take the air cleaner out of the way. The top here comes out like this. You got two T20s, one here and one there. And you've got a regular clamp there. You'll need a straight blade screwdriver to get that out. And you also have one connector here, which you will have to slide this yellow uh, lock back. And then you can depress the squeeze button and pull it right out. But what I had to end up doing was taking the motor mount out of here because the top bolt of the alternator will not have enough space to come out due to the frame of the car. So, get that mount out, you have got, this is the way it looks. So you have the three bolts right here that attach to the engine itself. And then you've got three mounting points here, nut here, nut here, and a bolt there. What I did up underneath, because you can't just let that motor mount loose. you got to have some kind of way to support the engine. So what I got, who is this again? Mr. Screwjack. With a 4x4 four four block of wood on there. And I just lowered it down very, very carefully. Until the bolt was pretty much free to clear the uh, frame of the car. Now alternator, I pried it out there a little bit with a pry bar. Because it's got these bushings in it. To help keep it tight once you put the bolts in there. These bushings will pull inward to apply pressure. So, uh, the back of the alternator, you got the 13 millimeter. That was a little bit rough to get out of there, but I used a quarter inch with a 13. And I actually was able to get a 3 ace up in there. There's enough room for it. But it was tight. And what I'm going to do is try and stick this camera up in here and give you a better view. Of where it goes and that is where your alternator sits if you can see I don't know if it's going to show it or not there's a bolt hole here and your second bolt holes up there I'm going to try and get this from a different angle maybe you can see it through this way there we go that's better so we have a bolt hole right here and a bolt hole right up there reach it right there and those uh, come straight forward but the top one you won't have enough room to get it out without lowering down this engine so I'm getting ready to stick my new one back up in here and get it situated get the bolts in there and I'll start lifting my engine back into place I'll be back I forget to mention that the alternator has to come out through this little area right here and it's going to go back the same way. You may have to twist it a little bit, manipulate it, but it will come out of that area. All right. All right. My alternator is back in place, bolted up. I got my motor mount back in place up top. So now the only thing left to do, got to hook my wire on the back of the alternator here up. Which I can find the screw. Get that on there. You took the nut off. And I'm going to plug this in. And I'm going to get that nut, put it on the back there, tighten that up. And then I'm going to get my belt back on here. And that should about conclude getting all the rest of the engine part together. And then I'm going to have to start putting these shields back in place. So I'll be back once I got this all tightened up. And ready to put these shields in. All right, so all of my shields are back in place. Everything is buttoned up, up underneath here. Got all these shields back in place. So, the only thing that's left is to put our air filter box back in place and get our air filter hooked back up. And that should be about the end of this. Let's see, this pops back into here. We've got two slots here. These rubber grommets that this box will connect into. And at the same time, we've got to get it into this air dam here. 
and there is one more mounting point back here so yeah this is interesting I'm trying to get all of this stuff started at once anyway i'm going to get all this back together and i'll be back all right folks everything is back together i'm ready to send this thing out the door so if this helped you out any hit that like button hit the subscribe button you know i'm coming back with some more stuff catch you on the next one